Welcome to Coffee Avenue number two. This is my final video for the night. It is 12:30, and I got a horrible day playing tomorrow, so this is my last video. Okay, he got a gun. Man drives into crowd of people at George Floyd protesters before pulling out a gun and shooting demonstrators in Seattle. So, I'm sorry I have to end tonight video with this. I haven't put a comment there, but I'm gonna show you this damn video. Let me make sure the volume works. Alright. Damn it. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! No! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh god! Uh, what? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, that, that guy is meeting some swift. Oh, no. I was screaming while we come here. Then uh, oh, this dude immediately started screaming. I apologize for that. I didn't realize he was going to start screaming. Uh, oh god! This car oh, god. looked like it was coming straight down the street. Thought it was going for the protesters. The guy's a gun. Oh god! He's just walking into the crowd. Oh my god! No, no! Oh god! Wait, is that the dude? That's the dude. Oh, the protester that, um. Oh god. The dude got arrested and detained. I heard Okay. I don't know what's going on with this next video. I don't think it has any relevance. I'll watch it in a minute. So, apparently, this morning, turn five footage shows a car speeding towards, um,. A group of George Floyd protesters in Seattle last night before the driver exited the vehicle and brandished a gun. The citizen, excuse me, the crazed gunman who appeared to be trying to plow into the demonstrators with his car shot a black protester in the arm after the victim punched him in the face. Okay. So there's going to be some video. There's going to be some clips. Before the shooting, the man was in the car racing towards the crowd in the Capitol Hill. Excuse, yeah, Capitol Hill area of the city in a chilling echoes of Charlottesville. That's where we are now. Um, where the far right extremist drove his vehicle into the demonstrators. Thankfully, the metal barricade stopped the black Honda Civic, which did not appear to collide with anyone. Thank God. Sorry, it doesn't say that, but it does it hasn't appeared to collide with anyone before the protester tried to pull out the driver through the open window. A gunshot then rang out from the car, sending the pedestrian named only as Daniel to the local medical to get it to the ground with um, the wounded in his arm. The gunman dressed in jeans and a black hat and a hood and a top baseball cap emerged from the car brandishing a weapon, prompting demonstrators to run for their lives. The picture in the second aluminum clip, good God, is this tape at the bottom of his man, of the man's gun. Um, he then is seen making his way through the crowd on foot reportedly towards a line of police officers. Though he was plowed right into the crowd, according to the Seattle Fire Department, the unarmed man was, was detained by the cops as the scene. How oh, the hell is that? Okay, the unnamed man, excuse me. Totally misread that. I own that. I misread that. I'm sorry. The unarmed man was totally detained by the cops at the scene and taken into custody. It is unknown whether the shooter has been charged or whatever his motives was. The medics assisted the victim, Daniel, and um, was heard saying on camera, I catch him, I punched him in the face, I heard the gunshot go off, and my arm, my whole thing, was protecting those people down there. Was to protect those people down there. The witness, B.J. Hayes, told the Seattle Times that he heard the car was going to smash through the crowd of protesters. He said, "I thought he was going to plow right through the crowd. I thought I was going to see a bunch of bodies flying through the air." All right, so I'm show you guys these pictures. Showed you the video. So, just move the Facebook button. That's the first picture of this douchebag.
Okay, it won't do like the other stuff. That's the second picture of this douchebag with a gun. I guess that's either him being the injured guy or them being restraining of the guy. This is the guy trying to stop him and the barricade. That's the guy trying to stop him on the ground there. I guess that was the guy who got shot. Alright, so this is the guy getting out. Brandishing the weapon. That's the back of the vehicle. This is a different angle of the vehicle smashing into the barricade. Another angle. So I guess there's still more to read. Okay. So I screwed up somewhere. Daniel was in the picture being helped to his feet by the medical and authorities. He is confirmed a 27-year-old and was stable condition at the hospital. The incident happened on the 10th night of the protest in the city. Demonstrators sparked by the death of a black man named George Floyd, who was being arrested in Minneapolis on May 5th. In Seattle, the tension between the cops and the protesters was strained just before, excuse me, just before the shooting of some of the crowd in advance beyond the barrier set up by the law enforcement. The death of Floyd has sparked protests across the United States in demand and police violence against African Americans. The horrible footage officer Derek Colvin kneeling on the father of T's neck and for over eight minutes and he led the cops for being in charge. He and four of the cops are being in charge. Uh, the protest movement has now spread it across the world as demonstrations and protests are in Europe. South Africa and Australia. Now there's pictures of um, the murder of uh, George Floyd. I'm not going to show you guys that. Y'all have seen that. There's pictures of George Floyd. There's pictures of cops covered in smoke. There's pictures of uh, protesters erupting. There's pictures of a fire. There's pictures of bike cops and protesters. And that's it for that. So I'm going to. Um, in this video with a thought alright cuz I haven't um I haven't replied in 2017 we had that happen here in Charlottesville you know I think that if you are crazy enough to plow your car into innocent people to make a statement then you probably have some issues before that I like attention I make these videos to hopefully open up my doors for my acting career. I do like the attention that I get on YouTube, but I'm not going to go and do something drastic or exceptionally drastic to make me famous. These people that are protesting that are the right protesters versus the wrong protesters, and then these cancel protesters that decide, hey, I'm going to plow my car over top of people. There's something wrong in the world today. And we need to take a knee to it. And it's called racism. And there's two type of knees. You can take a knee. This way. In solidarity. Or you can give somebody a knee. That way. Racism needs the second option. A knee to the face. And until we acknowledge racism. Worldwide. Well specifically in the United States of America. This is going to happen again, and it's probably going to get worse. I'm predicting it. I'm praying that it doesn't, but there's nothing I can really do to stop it other than make videos and post and hope that we all change. This is Comfort Habit number two. Be seeing. And above all else, change how you treat people, especially people who are not of your ethnicity or your skin tone. We are all human. We all bleed red. It's time we stop bleeding and start succeeding.